Congratulations! You finished the first set of our modules. Now, let's talk about Module 4. Target Skills or Objectives Pre-test muna few inches later in this module we will be particular with the next kind of sequence this is geometric sequence this is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called common ratio or r ito sa geometric sequence multiplying ang kailangan tandaan at higit sa lahat yung tinatawag nating common ratio ng geometric sequence. Let's consider example number 1. Consider the sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, and so on and so forth. By looking at the pattern, we can see that 2 is obtained after multiplying 1 by 2. Nakuha din yung 4 by multiplying 2 by 2. And nakuha yung 8 by multiplying 4 by another 2. How about the next term after 8? Yes, we multiply it by 2 to get 16. Very good. Nakita natin that we have these similar numbers, which is 2, and they now are called common ratio. How to get the common ratio? Let's use this simple formula r equals any term divided by preceding term. Kadalasan yung ginagamit sa any term ay yung mga pangalawa, pangatlo, and so on and so forth. Let's try a sub 2 in a sub 1. r equals a sub 2 over a sub 1 will be our first solution in getting the common ratio. a sub 2 is 2, a sub 1 is 1. So 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let's try a sub 3 and a sub 2. a sub 3 is 4, a sub 2 is 2, so 4 divided by 2 is also 2, which gives us the common ratio of this sequence. Let's consider example number 2. What is the common ratio of 7, 28, 112, 448, and 1792? We are going to find R, which is our common ratio. For our solution, kuha tayo ng mga consecutive numbers. We will start with a sub 2 over a sub 1, a sub 3 over a sub 2, a sub 4 over a sub 3, a sub 5 over a sub 4, to get our common ratio. Let's start with the first. So, a sub 2 is 28, a sub 1 is 7. By dividing, we get 4. Next, a sub 3 is 112, a sub 2 is 28, 112 divided 28 is 4. Next, a sub 4 is 448, a sub 3 is 112. By division, the answer is 4. And last, a sub 5 is 1792, and a sub 4 is 448. By division again, we will get 4. This gives us the common ratio of the given geometric sequence, which is 4. Now, let's try a problem. Ball bouncing is one of the situations that shows geometric sequence. Each time it hits the ground, it bounces to 80% of its previous height. What will be the first 5 terms created by a ball that was dropped from the height of 100 inches? So, ito ang gagawin natin. We need to complete the sequence created by the ball. Started with 100 inches, then followed by 80 inches, and so on and so forth. 
Now, ano-ano yung mga nawawalang terms in this geometric sequence? Let's solve the problem. First, let's determine the common ratio, or R. For our common ratio, we will be using the two consecutive given terms. Siyempre, yung una at yung mga lawa. We will start with A sub 2, then A sub 1, which is 80 divided by 100. Observe na nakuha natin ay 4 over 5 or 0 0.8, fraction or decimal. Hindi naman yan problema. Now, let's complete the sequence by multiplying the common ratio to the preceding term. Now, yung kailangan natin is yung susunod sa 80. Using the common ratio, 0 0.8, and by multiplication, we will get 64. Again, by multiplying 0 0.8, we will get 51.2. And lastly, 51.2 times 0 0.8 will get 40.96. That gives us the complete sequence, particularly geometric sequence of this given problem. Now it's your turn. Try to complete the table. Given the sequence, bigay nyo yung common ratio at yung next two terms ng bawat geometric sequence. Did you get the same answers? Observe number 3. Nikita natin that it has no common ratio. Therefore, it's not a geometric sequence. Very good! Now, let's have more examples of geometric sequence and its common ratio. Let's consider first example number 1. Give the first five terms of the geometric sequence whose first term is 7 and whose common ratio is negative 3. We need to complete the sequence, 7 and yung mga nawawalang terms. Gamit ang common ratio na negative 3, anong gagawin? Correct, simple multiplication. 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. Negative 21 times negative 3 is positive 63. 63 times negative 3 is negative 189. Times negative 3, we get 567. Or, given a sub 1, which is our first term, 7, and our common ratio, which is negative 3, pwede natin silang isolve by equations. a sub 2 equals 7 times negative 3 equals negative 21. A sub 3 equals negative 21 times negative 3 equals 63. A sub 4 equals 63 times negative 3 equals negative 189. And yung A sub 5 is equal to negative 189 times negative 3, we get 567. That completes our geometric sequence whose first term is 7 and whose common ratio is negative 3. Next, example number 2. Determine the next two terms of the sequence 16, 24, 36. For our solution, once again, we will start with getting or solving the common ratio. R equals A sub 2 over A sub 1. Again, any term divided by its preceding term or yung magkasunudan na numbers. A sub 2 is 24, A sub 1 is 16. So, 24 divided by 16 will give you a fraction, which is 3 halves. So, gamitin natin yung fraction as a common ratio to get the next two terms of the sequence. Since meron tayong a sub 3 na 36, and yung common ratio niya is 3 halves, syempre, yung hinahanap natin next two terms ay yung a sub 4 at yung a sub 5. Now, to get the solution... We will use the a sub 3, 36, multiplied with the common ratio, which is 3 halves, we will get 54. Paano nga ulit mag-multiply ng whole number to a fraction? Tama! Multiply the whole number to the numerator, then divide it by the denominator. So, 36 times 3 is 
108 divided by 2, it's 54. Also with a sub 5, gamit sa a sub 4 na 54, multiply it by the fraction 3 halves or multiply 54 by 3 divided by 2, we will get 81. Therefore, the next two terms in the geometric sequence in example number 2 are 54 and 81. So for example number 3, let's supply the missing terms of the sequence. Observe na meron na tayong variable, variable A. So paano natin kukunin yung mga missing terms? Ito ang ating solution. Again, we will start with finding or solving for the common ratio. To solve R, ang meron tayong consecutive na terms ay yung pangatlo and yung pangalawa. So gagamitin natin yung A sub 3 as the term and A sub 2 as its preceding term. So A sub 3 divided A sub 2 will be our common ratio. Now 50A raised to 3 is our A sub 3 and 10A squared is our second term. By division, ito yung maging solution natin. Madaling isolve yung 50 divided 10. It's 5. But how about this variable with exponents? Let's recall the laws of exponents. Since this is division, paano nga ulit mag-divide ng mga variables with exponents? Let's recall this formula. Dividing same base, the exponent will be subtracted. So, x raised to m over x raised to n, we will get x raised to m minus n. So, kung babalikan natin ng a raised to 3 divided by a raised to 2, ang mangyayari ay a raised to 3 minus 2, which is 1. So, ang mga kasama ni 5 ay a. Again, we recall the loss of exponents with division. Now, find a sub 4 and a sub 5. Kasi meron na tayong common ratio. For a sub 4 and a sub 5, ito yung kailangan natin. Sa a sub 3 times r and sa a sub 4 times r. By substitution, 50a raised to 3, our third term, multiplied by the common ratio 5a, will get this. Again, madaling i-multiply yung mga coefficient. 50 times 5 is 250. But again, meron tayong variable. a sub 3 times a. a raised to 3 times a. Now, let's recall the loss of exponents in multiplication. Multiplying same base, the exponents will be added. Now, a sub 3 times a is a raised to 4. Exponent ng unang a is 3. Exponent ng pangalawang a is 1. That gives us the exponent 4. Meron tayong a sub 4. How about a sub 5? We'll get 1,250 a raised to 5. Got it? How about a sub 1? Let's continue the solution. To get a sub 1, let's take note of this. To find the terms to the right, multiply the common ratio to the preceding term. Yan yung ginagawa natin kanina pa para makuha natin yung mga next terms, multiplying the common ratio. To find the terms to the left, divide the common ratio to the succeeding term. Ito naman yung reverse. Kapag kailangan natin yung naunang mga terms, division ng common ratio ang gagawin natin. So, when we are getting a sub 2, ang ginagamit natin ay a sub 1 times r for the common ratio. Pero kung kailangan natin hanapin yung a sub 1, we will get it by a sub 2 divided by r. Remember, our r or common ratio earlier is 5a. Now, 10a squared, your second term, divided by the ratio 5a and recalling our multiplication in the loss of exponents will get 10 divide 5 2 a squared divide a a so our first term is 2 a therefore the complete geometric sequence is 2 a 10 a squared 50 a cubed 250 a raised to 4 
and 1250A raised to 5. Very good! Now, it's your turn. Practice Exercises A few inches later. Assessment time. Please answer post test and additional activities. Thanks for watching and learning. Be good, be mathly good.